here we are again second video of 2018 and you probably noticed on the table I have some handguns <clears throat> so I thought this isn't fair that I have these on the table and I don't say anything so why are they on the table I picked this up maybe six months ago and you know how it is when you buy something and then put it away and once I had a chance to examine this little pistol it's a single shot and as you know I like simple mechanisms and it's hard to know what you can see on the camera but this little single shot pistol which fires these four millimeter cartridges which I happen to have for probably 20 years is an amazing little firearm so I, I'm going to make a separate video on these one day soon uh, of course the cartridge goes in this is basically what captures the cartridge and I just keep looking at how simple this is that's what captures the cartridge then you fire you would think it would open but the mass of the hammer prevents the cartridge from moving back and of course this lock is pivoting the wrong way so the cartridge can't push it out of the way and then it it simply extracts and ejects with this little device here anyway I'll do a better job of it but that's why it's sitting on the table and then I have this 32 watt cutter which I'm studying and trying to figure out it's made in Italy uh, this this is one of those unbelievably accurate pistols but I don't know enough about it yet to make a video so it sits on this table it's also missing a spring anyhow I'm gonna get back to the reason for the video um, and I'll start out by thanking you for your request to identify the best 22 Sporter and why do I not talk about 22s? So first of all, I'm sorry I don't talk about 22s. I probably shoot more 22s like everybody else than high powers, although I'm sure there are exceptions. And um, I shoot 22s, I shoot air rifles, just they're convenient, there's no recoil, it's cheap and all of the rest of those reasons that you well know and I'll give you the answer up front there's no suspense here the best 22 Sporter that I've ever come across is the Winchester 52 these are hard to find I had some originals but originals generally speaking have all kinds of stories attached to them I have no idea how many rounds have been fired out of them and so when Browning in this case introduced a reproduction made in Japan I bought this actually I bought two I bought this one and then I bought one that was marked Winchester of course somebody I know had to have the Winchester one so now I only have the Browning anyhow <clears throat> this is a copy of the original Winchester model 52 and everything about this sporter to me anyway and I've shot this rifle countless times uh, and I'm now saying over a thousand and that's probably modest there's no wear to the bore that I can detect maybe there's something with some kind of special sighting equipment the trigger as you can see from these two screws is adjustable for over travel and it's it's actually marked so over travel and pull pull is the first screw over travel is the second screw the magazine is a little bit deformed because of my own stupidity. Something happened and I can't even remember what and I had it in a vise and then I ended up crushing this but we all do stupid things and I do lots of them and uh, anyway I'll get a new trigger one, a uh, new uh, magazine one day. Um, the magazine is it's removed by means of this button <clears throat> and, oh, and it's a little bit stiff because of that deformity. Uh, but it doesn't matter you can get magazines uh, easily so that's how you remove the magazine normally it would pop out it doesn't um, the bolt operation is slick and smooth and a lot of times when I look at the model 52 it came out in that golden era of gun making along with the pre-64 I'm not sure if the dates exactly line up but you can see this this is a definite action it's it's not a 
an extension of the barrel. It's not a tubular extension of the barrel, which I'll go into in a moment. And uh, the lock time is fantastic. I never fiddle around with triggers much. Other people seem to need finer tolerances than me, which is good. Uh, the trigger guard, kind of a piece of sheet metal actually, but it works well. The checkering on this reproduction, I think, mimics the original. And um, so quite simply, the Model 52 Sporter, if you can find one, or a reproduction of one, uh, in my opinion, you've got as good a 22 Sporter as you can find. So then I thought I should probably make the video a little longer and how can you talk about 22 Sporters without having an Anschutz on the table? There are many different models made over many years. These are fantastically accurate rifles. Uh, undoubtedly, some of you will say that they're more accurate than the Model 52. That may well be the case. These are made in Germany. This rifle was made in Japan, but originally was United States of America. Hopefully, somebody will start making them again. <clears throat> Hopefully in USA. And um, getting back to the Anschutz, this is a legendary action. They have excellent triggers. Um, they probably have, know more about how to make an, an accurate 22 than anybody else. But that doesn't take away from the one-off brilliance of the Model 52. And um, now Anschutz, the company, makes biathlon rifles and all kinds of other rifles. So I, I think it would be unfair to say that it isn't very close to the 52. But again, this is this typical thing they do with 22s. You have this little rail, you've got a little receiver, and it just looks like a 22. And whereas the, the Model 52, I, I, I think it's quite distinct because the, the receiver is, is, is not just a 22 receiver, even though, even though that's just what it is. Anyhow, so if you can figure out what I'm trying to tell you, <clears throat> there's a sense to it. And um, I don't have Remingtons on the table. The Remington 541, which I had two of, the 541 Sporter has an amazing trigger. And as you all know, I'm not obsessed with triggers, but that I, I noticed the 541 Sporter. I think 541S, it doesn't matter. Excellent, and the 581 also. And you can tell them uh, the, easily because they have actually, they have locking lugs. These, these Anschutzes, they, they lock on the bolt handle. Um, and there are different variations of bolt action 22s. But because the pressures are so low, they're easy to lock. So there are many different little tricks that you can use to lock the action. So Winchester 52, number one. I don't want to say this is number two, but it probably is. But that's unfair to CZ. So this is the CZ. I just bought this a couple of years ago. This is from, what does it say here? Kansas City. So that must be the distributor. It's the model 455. Why is this on the table? Because this model is called Jaguar or Leopard or something, I forget, but what immediately caught my eye is, have a look at the barrel on this thing. It's, I think it's a 28 inch barrel. Don't quote man, I don't have a tape measure hanging around. Uh, but I realized right away what a barrel of that length means, coupled with my favorite 22 ammo. I don't know if we can focus on this, and I don't work for these people. Um, this CCI Quiet 22 is unbelievable. I loaded up in this CZ455, this Jaguar, and I'm not kidding, when I fire this, it's like I'm hitting a fly with a fly swat, that, that, like a swatter. That's all you hear, a little snap. And these are not light bullets. I think these are 40 grain. I don't know, I haven't studied it, but I know how hard they hit. Um, that Quiet 22 long rifle is a game changer, and this rifle is supremely accurate. I'm not saying that the CZ is less accurate than the Winchester 52, um, or that the Anschutz is less accurate than the than the Winchester 52. I'm just saying the best sporter. You know, it's kind of like art. This is how I view firearms, and this is the best piece of firearms art. 
if that makes sense to somebody out there. I don't know. But um, what do I grab when, you know, there's a problem that needs to be dealt with with a 22? I take this gun with that ammunition and the problem is soon over and it's totally silent. And again, <laughs> no silencer involved. So uh, I don't see any of these at Walmart anymore. Uh, if, you, if you need a Supreme Sporter, just get the CZ. They're not even priced badly. And with this long barrel, I don't know if they make these. I hope they do. This was an excellent idea. How often do you see somebody um, offer a barrel that's longer for the caliber than normal? So I, I quickly went out and got these, and I don't regret it. Um, there are lots of other sporters. There are Marlins. There are Mossbergs. Um, uh, all, all, all kinds. Rugers, the Ruger American, another great sporter. And, and the old Ruger, uh, not 10-22, but 77-22. Uh, you know those. They're all fantastic. Uh, but I didn't have them on the table partly because <laughs> I don't have them. I don't own them. And these three are kind of in a different class, if that's fair. The Ruger product is maybe not exactly in this range, but I'm sure there are people there'll be people that disagree. And by the way, um, all my opinions, they're, they're just what I know from my experience and from what I've owned. But I'm always happy to be wrong. And lots of you know lots of things that I don't know. <clears throat> so feel free to write me. Uh, but it gives us something to talk about. And um, I don't think that many people will disagree that the 52 is in a separate class. And if you punch in, well, just have a look how many of these are being offered by people who own them. I mean, I'm not selling this anytime soon. And if you do find one for sale, you have to pay top dollar. So, and maybe these will be the 52s of the future, or maybe these will be, I don't know. By the way, Weatherby offered the Anschutz. They labeled it Weatherby. And stupid me, I didn't buy one. Those were beautifully made rifles, manufactured completely, I think, by Anschutz. Maybe the stock or something was made by Weatherby, I have no idea. There's a lot of that going on where the stock is made one place and then it's assembled some other place for tax reasons. But ne nevertheless, the mechanism was the German Anschutz. So I don't want to make another half hour video, but that's the answer to all of you that wrote, sent messages, which I appreciate. Model 52 is number one. And then the others and how they place and fall, personal preference. Hopefully that answers your questions. And definitely, uh, if you go out and get this CCI ammo, it's, I didn't think it would be a big deal, but it, it's unbelievable. And maybe there are others now kind of copying it. Anyhow, that's it, and um, thanks for watching.